today video replacing the engine belt and tensioner broke for 2009 The air compression? Tension uh, built over here. This is the original belt broken from here. <laughs> and then the tensioner broke from here. One, two, three. This is the new belt. That's where the tensioner broke from here. You can see it broken from here. Those are three belts. One, two, three. So you need to move this intake here. So that's for uh, gas, diesel, diesel, gasoline, diesel, diesel, and other type of diesel. So you want to go with this because this is gasoline uh, and uh, Okay. So when we went to Canadian Tire, uh, for some reason they give us short. This is shorter than the original one, as you can see. It's a short, so so now we have to go back to replace to different one. Uh, this one it's V8, so they probably give us set this more V6, and uh, so we gotta go back, take this one back, and get the new one. So we got this one, it uh, should be the right belt, 99.3. Hello. And uh, this should be the right belt, 99 inches, 0.3. And this is the, the diagram of the draw we need to follow. And this van has air condition. The air condition is here. Without air condition, uh, you go with this. Uh, so without air condition is 80, 80 inch. With air condition is 99 inch, 0.3. And uh, should be easy to go. And this is how you attach, uh, like when you put it in, use a half inch ratchet, stick this one in, and then this is how you came loose a little bit, put the belt, let it go, and that's how you tie the belt.
this belt must go uh, beneath the tensioner here. So there is a gap here, small gap. Just put it there and then pull it like that. See? So this belt goes beneath the tensioner just like that to fit correctly. Alternator all the way there comes up like that down to here to the tensioner down again AC and to this one From beneath this hole it looks how it's gonna sit. Yeah. What is uh 